Dick, dear, nothing has come to mean more to show business and to people everywhere as the phrase, music by Richard Rogers. All of us here tonight love and admire and salute you. And we would like for you to accept this crystal bowl as a memento of wonderful music and to use a phrase that we both know very well, of enchanting evenings in the theater. And, well, for the past 25 years. And we want you to have it because we love you very much. I'd love to have it, Mary. This is a pretty wonderful evening for me, as you can imagine. <laughs> it's, uh, it's thrilling. It's a peculiar kind of business we're in, anyway. They let you work for 25 years, doing the kind of thing that you'd die if you couldn't do. <laughs> doing it with awfully nice people, as this evening proves. They even pay you for it. And then at the end of the 25th year, just to get even with you, these people throw you a party and give you a crystal bowl. <laughs> do you want it? Yes, I want it very much. Uh, I want something else from you if you'd like to do it. If you remember the first time you heard I'm in love with a wonderful guy, yes. it was in Josh Logan's apartment. That's right. And Oscar was there, and our wives were there. And I played it for you, and something <laughs> kind of peculiar happened. The roof went up a couple of inches. Do you remember that uh, they called from downstairs and said that it was so late, I mean, it was so early in the morning that we had to get out? That's right. And they didn't know that a wonderful show was being born at that time. Oh, <coughs> neither did we. <laughs> now, maybe if you were to sing it and I were to play it for you, they wouldn't ask us to get out this time. <laughs> Honey, I can't think of anything I'd rather do. Well, let's try it. All right. I expect every one of my crowd to make fun of my proud protestations of faith and romance. Right. 